Okay, so I'm going to try to solve this problem that I posted there last week. It's the uh, three-part momentum problem. So you have to imagine that you have a uh, object floating around. And we imagine that its momentum is zero. In other words, we're in the same frame of reference. It is. Um, okay, so to make that simpler, it's just sitting still. Uh, it's a thousand tons and it explodes into three pieces and a 300 ton speed piece shoots north. So, I mean, obviously there's no north in space, but to give us a kind of a frame to work within, we just call it north. So that's up. And it says that that's a thousand meters per second. Okay, um, then a 400 ton piece shoots off at 800 meters per second. And that is at uh, 30 degrees east of south. So there's south and about 30 degrees east, like so. And I think intuitively you probably would be able to tell that the third piece is going to go off in this direction somewhere. Um, first thing is to write down what the mass is. It's going to be 300 tons. Okay, so we're just going to work within tons. Um, which is okay as long as we stay within tons, the uh, problem will work out. Oh, I don't like that tiny arrow. Let's go back to my normal arrow here. Okay, and we'll write in this velocity here, which is 800 meters per second, 30 degrees to the east of south. All right, so we're really looking for the velocity here. You can't find that directly, but you can understand that if this object is still and it explodes into three pieces, then the momentum before the explosion and after the explosion um, is going to be the same and it's going to be equal to zero. So momentum before, momentum after are equal to each other. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll solve for the momentums of each of these pieces, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll find the sum of the two momentums that we know and realize that the third momentum is going to be equal and opposite to what that value is. So that might not make sense right this minute, but we'll see if we can figure out how to do that. All right, so 300 tons and 1,000 meters per second north. Okay, so we've got, you know, mass times velocity. So 300 times 1,000 gives you 300,000 kilogram meters per second north. Okay. And we've got to find the momentum here. So we've got 400 times 800. So we've got 320,000 kilogram meters per second there. Okay, and we know the mass here, but nothing else. All right, so this is a vector addition problem. All right, um, you know, momentum's a vector. So we'll lay it out and we'll add our vectors tip to tail. And hopefully the whole um, equal and opposite uh, idea comes here in, in and makes sense here. Okay, so we've got our first vector, that's the 300,000 uh, kilogram meters per second. And then we've got our 320,000 here. What the heck? Okay, something like that. Oh, this is actually just a little bit longer. So this piece here is probably going to go maybe more off to the to the left. Okay. So now, if we find the sum of these two vectors, we're going to get a value like this. 
Okay, so what that represents, roughly like that, I guess, what this represents is the sum of our two um, momentum vectors that we know. And then we realize that in order for this to end up being zero, we actually have to have our final momentum vector be equal and opposite to this, all right? So we'll figure out whatever this is, and then we'll flip it the other way, and we'll have our final value. All right, so we're gonna have to do some um, components here, vector components. We've got a south component of this, and we've got uh, an easterly component. So the south component of this vector, let's draw it over here, it's like this. It's gonna be 320,000 times the cosine. Oh, no, I forget what angle, so yeah, 30 degrees. Cosine of 30 degrees and 320,000 times the sine of 30 degrees. Okay, so I'll just crunch the numbers and write them in here. Okay, so 320,000 times the cos of 30 degrees, that's the component of this vector um, aiming southward, and that's in momentum units of so kilogram meters per second. And this is the easterly component of that. All right, so now we have to find our um, some of our y vectors. All right, so we've got 300,000 kilogram meters per second aiming to the north, plus 277, 28 kilograms meters per second, but that's aiming to the south, so we'll put it as a negative value and see what we get. Okay, so that leaves us with 22,872 kilogram meters per second in the northern direction. Okay, so actually, it should be a bit more like this. All right, because it's not quite, doesn't quite counteract to the south all of our 300,000 to the north. And then our x net, okay, so in our momentum in the x direction is just that 160,000 kilogram meters per second off to the east. All right, so now we have a new vector triangle to draw. We've got 22,872 to the north, a big 160,000 kilogram meters per second to the east. Okay. So this is that remainder factor that we have from uh, adding the two that we know, and we're gonna have to go the opposite direction of this. So what I'll probably do is I'll find this angle in here, okay, and realize that the final vector is gonna be um, to the south of west. All right, so it looks like this, and we're gonna look for this. So in other words, we're just imagining that we flipped both these vectors to get the opposite of this one. Okay, so in this case then, our angle would be the inverted tan of our opposite over our adjacent. It's gonna be a small angle. So you get about uh, eight, about 8.1 degrees, okay? And so, you know, the um, actual resultant is to the north uh, of east, okay? But we're going to go to the south of west because we need to counteract that so that we end up with a, a final moment of zero. I'll show you what I mean just right at the end here. And then our final value, we'll use Pythagorean theorem. And I get 161, 627 kilogram meters per second. Okay, so that's the final momentum, right? That our um, final piece is gonna need. Okay, but we know that it weighs 300 tons. So we actually need to divide that out by your 300 tons, right? So P equals MV. You found the P, you gotta divide it out by M to get your velocity. 539 roughly 
uh, meters per second, 8.1 degrees south of west. Okay. So just to clarify and make sure everyone understands what we're talking about, what we're saying is if our object explodes, we've got a, I don't like that being dotted, but we've got a north vector, we've got a south vector, well, southeast vector, and then we've got our final vector here, our final piece right here, okay? And note how the sum of all these vectors is zero, right? Where we start, where we finish has to be the same. So we found the opposite of this was the sum of the two input vectors, but we know the final piece has to complete um, the conservation momentum. So it's actually got to aim the opposite direction and counteract those other two. This was the 1000 meters per second piece. Oops. This was the 800 meters per second piece. And this one is 539 meters per second. And we're done.